using in a different exercises somewhere i have used general posting added new member so you can go with that when you open metadata and go to dimension structure this is my dimension model for account this is my entity structure for a quick check you can go to manage metadata open xml file and check right before loading now next load metadata my application is empty load metadata the delimit and all this thing you can leave it blank um it is always good to scan it right in order to ensure the consistency of your metadata file so scan it the practice application is always consistent but it's good idea to scan and then load loading metadata is a time consuming depends upon your volume of your application the practice application is pretty small with few members metadata load is done let it be all the option default just check the log file to you know to ensure what members are loaded expand and look at past past one and analyze the consistency check of your metadata including header delimiters other properties part second it loads a member and validate the member in hierarchy so what dimension member loaded scenario entity four custom dimension currency dimension and then validate all section validate consolidation currencies entities you know so it has its own mechanism of validating and loading metadata for more information you can go to log file and thoroughly read this for now metadata is loaded quick test after loading metadata so four step that's the metadata loading one test i shown you you can go to manage metadata and that's the metadata file this is for before loading you want to make sure you are using correct metadata file you can go to manage metadata and load it alternatively after loading how do you test it there is a option called explore data go to explore data and you will find a select the point of view now, what member we loaded it will be coming in point of view scenario there are five scenarios year period all these members are loaded previously it wasn't there right the bad thing is that you have option to load the metadata but you do not have option to unload the metadata the only possible way to override the metadata although it is not required maybe for testing or practice purpose you might require to unload the metadata we do not have any option to unload metadata right we can only load it or replace it so this is a metadata loaded successfully i can check metadata loaded successfully but i did not check over here partially loaded or fully loaded we did not check this information we can get only from the log file i checked the log file and found everything good and then i went into explore data and ensure all metadata is appearing okay what next and then after loading metadata i'll load the data some sample data next step loading data now loading member list and rules are optional but i'll show you it just a mouse click away very uh, simple operation member list is like an array 
of grouping of members based on certain property or characteristics. A simple example could be you can look at some uh, business requirement metadata given by the business and based on that we can decide how do you want a grouping. Let me show you one example. So I have a data from business right and I'm going to open a common chart of account and try to see how I can group members. In common chart of account Excel sheet we just want a grouping of members. Now look at here this is a GL, various GL and their description. The GL for asset and liabilities and then I have for revenue, expenses. Right? Now what I want, I want a grouping of these members based on the characteristics, a kind of uh, array I want to create. So I want to make this grouping. Grouping based on account type, right? Account type we have asset, liabilities, you know, revenue, owner equity. Because I've got 100,000 members, I want a logical grouping of this. Based on account type, we also want to analyze uh, group the member based on certain characteristics like for customer type. Customer live in North America. So some kind of grouping we can do it and that grouping is possible through member list. It's optional if you want click over here and you can load the member list from the practice application. List. List your text file. This can you can also open this. Look at this text file. There are a lot of programming involved in that but now you can see the members of text list are based on property account type profit and loss statement is one my list another list is my first quarters um, then all the members from certain geographical region right so we made a certain kind of listing based on certain property so apply specify list name and scan to make the ensure the consistency and then load Then look at the log file, it says any error, any warning and how much time it took to load the list. So as I said, it's an optional step. Loading member list. You can also check the validity uh, check the member list loaded successfully or not. Right? You can check the member list loaded successfully or not. A simple check. Again go to explore data. And you can see member list right. Member list are available over here. The member list. These are the member list. Based on adjustment entities, based on children, based on parent entity. There are certain member lists. England, Alloc, Dynamic. There are the member list, system defined member list and user defined member list. Next. For now, the next step is also optional for now. Uh, loading rules. Rules are like a calculation, some business definition, custom consolidation, currency conversion, minority interest finding, statutory application, calcul uh, some business definition defined, account balancing, 
So these rules are at the moment we do not require them, but still if you need there are some basic rules uh, I have written in a and modify in a sample application. So go to load rule. It is also optional. RLE in a practice application rules. There are a couple of rules. You can start with rule one, basic rule. Although if you load any one of them, it shouldn't be any problem. Rule, scan, no error, and then load. Check the log file. No error, no warning. We are good. Rules we can check how to uh, the rule uh, rules are added successfully or not. We can test it, but you know it's a long way, it's a complete long process. We need to load data and then do many other activities. So for now, after loading rule, you can rely on the log file to ensure your rules are added successfully or not. Just look at the log file. Okay, so next is loading rule. This is also optional. Next step which is important now, loading data. Now loading data. We have a data file, go to load data. Select the data file. The data file is DAT extension. Convention, however, the extension could be TXT, CV, uh, you know, comma separator file. For a practice application, you can find the data file as well. There's a one data file. I prepared another version of data file. Uh, and there, there's some massaging ID on data and create another version. You can start with all data. It's a text file, you can open it. and check your data file. What we are going to do after loading data, we'll look at the log file. Look at the log file and also check the intersection, the data is loaded successfully or not. Okay, so let's load the data file and check the data is loaded successfully or not. Scan, no error. Scan is done complete. There are certain warnings. You can look at the log file. Okay, there are no data load bounds. If data load is partially done or some records are failed to load, you can look at the log file. Now the you can see the HFME design in such a way that you don't have to go to uh, you know folder structure, look for the log file and open it. Everything is in front of you. The GUI is designed so intelligently and simply. Okay, so we loaded the data, check the log file, there are no bounds. The next is, uh, this is optional step, there are no log, in logs, there are not rejected records, so we can be rely on the log file and go ahead, but still, I'll give you a technique to check your data is loaded successfully or not. So we'll go to this intersection and to check the data is loaded successfully or not. So this intersection we can see into explore data.